Hey guys, so as you know, I purchased the vehicle for $29,995 $29, from the dealership, but the car wasn't perfect. Um, it had an issue with the roof, the convertible roof, where there was a latching issue. When I drove the car, brought it back, I said, let's see how the convertible top comes down. The latch started to unhook, it separated, which meant the top was available to open, but the process didn't complete. So. It had them write up in the contract that they would fix the convertible top to complete the sale, even though I took the car home. The problem is, is this was in Sarasota and I live in Miami. It's like two and a half hours away. So uh, when they arranged for the shop to take a look at it, the shop said, you have to bring it back and leave it overnight uh, with us for us to take a look. That's 250 miles there, 255 miles back. That's 500 miles on that car, plus whatever other car that's going to come and take me back home wasn't a feasible solution. So um, what we did instead is I uh, told them that uh, to send me a check, and this video is going to show you what I did to try to fix it on my own. All right, see you soon. So as I mentioned, I'm approaching you in mid-project. I removed those two little plastic covers here, right? They go, they go and sit in here very easy to pull out and I'm actually undoing these bolts here to pull off the whole latch unit because even though it shows you that you can take an allen here and I'm sorry for the poor light quality hold on I'm gonna do something so even though they say that you know you can put an allen in here and you pull it forward kinda you see some of the instructions even right here uh, I don't have an allen or any it doesn't look like it's an allen that fits in there um, I'm a little bit sketch on how to pull that out and do it manually. So I've, I've already moved the two bolts over here. I'm moving the two over here. We're going to pull the unit down. To note, the issue is, is that the clamshell is not working or the clamshell is not actually opening. And I think it has something to do with the micro switch. So after removing this piece, I have the entire uh, assembly out after a couple of clips. And I was worried about the clamshell not working, but when I took it off and I hit the button, look, boom, automatically this back piece opens up. I'm going to try to pull it down manually, and then we're going to do some more investigation into this micro switch latch situation. So now we're here in the process where we got most of it done. Uh, I just got to push the last part in. Uh, we'll see if it, it seems like the motor works and there's not a lot of like clearance issues. Uh, but the drums, I don't know. So just going to get it back into the right mode and then see where we're at in the end, okay? See how we do. I think these pieces come up. Yeah, we'll see. And so there you go. Uh, this was a two-step process. Uh, you know, it wasn't like you could just take the whole thing up and then, you know, you could just, once you unlatch it, do it manually. No, I had to use a conjunction of the button to help move it back, push it back slowly. I felt all the mechanisms seemed to work. Uh, and the the shell here was just fine once I pressed down like down on this and made sure this is here it uh, I guess it had some switch that then when I press the the open button again and finish the process and push that back in so now we have the top totally down um, and it looks pretty good uh, but we have to diagnose oh wow these even came back up that's cool I you always know, wondered about that so now we just have to diagnose this micro switch slash latch issue. And again, this is something the dealer was going to fix anyway, but I just took the time to say, hey, let me try to figure out what's going on, post a little video of how to manually do this. Uh, and now I don't know if I need to go all the way out to Sarasota. Maybe we can do something with getting another micro switch or the latch replacement, but I heard that's really expensive. So. Uh, so looking at this, I think I've identified the mark to switch or the sensor. So there's a sensor kind of like right here. Makes that sound. And there's one right here. Down at the bottom. Again, you can kind of see it. i got to get better light on it. But the dealership said they took it somewhere for it to get replaced. Again, this is going to get done by the dealer if I can't figure this out. And everything's working and I expect it. Everything's fine. But automatically, I know that it doesn't look like it's been replaced because, look, this here is still tying into the O-ring behind it, that coloration, which means it has not changed. Otherwise, this would be rotated off. I don't think anybody's going to match that up. It doesn't look like it's broken. So I don't believe they did anything with the micro switch. Maybe they put some grease over here. It looks like there's some fresh grease, and they thought that, that would fix it. 
but definitely the micro strip, the micro switch was not replaced. So now I'm kind of going around here a little bit, and I look right here, and look at that debris, or it looks like something's rubbing up against that. That does not look normal. Um, that could be a potential issue. Maybe there's some grinding or something going on with this whole entire latch, and that's why it's malfunctioning. Um, more investigation. So now I've got this whole thing totally loose so I can look the back in and remove two of the two of the Allens here and there's an Allen that went right there that was a slightly bigger bigger one here that I pulled and now you know I can for one thing see here but I can see that this is restricted from pull mushing down because of this I think this has to move some kind of way with that so I'm exploring that now to see what we got Do a few more things so looking at it from the front here Oh, well, let's, let's get more play. So I had to lift this piece up right here so it wasn't sitting down on this gear to free up this. And in the rear here, this thing was sitting on this, which was not allowing the motor to turn freely. It was stuck for some reason. Once I freed that up and I have this action right here, now, I, I can't show you with one hand, but these gears are starting to move very slowly, which will allow this to open up a lot more. I'm actually moving it already more. So that, that's progress. Okay, I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something. See if it works. I'm a genius. Look, I'm telling you. I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Like, I'm a bad dude. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really bad dude. Y'all, y'all need to subscribe, okay? I did this with two Allen wrenches uh, from my son's crib, okay? Okay. I did this. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. Y'all need to watch this channel, cause your boy is sick with it. Let's pull it out. Let's just make sure clamshell is down. Clamshell is back down, top is latched in. Two Allen wrenches. I was supposed to use 30 Torx, or it was a Torx screw, but like I was just this morning, I was like, I feel like just trying something without even going to like the hardware store or to like uh, uh, AutoZone or anything to pick up the Torx. And uh, believe it or not, this Allen wrench fits this little simple Allen wrench. And now my top is working, bro. It wasn't the micro switch. It was that the gearing was just so tied up that you that it was it was locked in a locked position. They might have replaced the, the micro. I just didn't see that happening. But I'm stoked. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> this experience. If you can, if you can get a cab, get a cab now. I don't care how you get a cab, but you gotta get one. This is this is amazing. This just changed it's the, it changes the whole game. Yes, I, I understand that it's not as fast and there's other things to it, but I'm so glad to get this roof down and experience this. And soon when I order the Recaro seats for my son, I'm gonna put him in the back and my wife over here in the side, and it's gonna be perfect.